Harry's Wife, Part 103.27. She Needs New PR. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor, recognising that you, dear Tudorites, must be making such a sacrifice to watch my videos as a consequence of 99.9% .9 of you dealing with unresolved trauma. You really are Trojans. I should imagine that you've spent many minutes before watching this video scaling yourself and growing, whatever the fuck all of that means. Nevertheless, it would appear that somebody's got an observation about Harry's wife suggesting that she needs new PR, that she needs a new PR team. Well, she had already changed it, hadn't she? Sunshine Sachs disappeared and apparently had been taken in-house, presumably, as I've pointed out in the past, as a consequence of the fact that probably they can't afford to employ anybody else externally to do it, and they need to have somebody who will do as they're told as a part of being an employee. But who is suggesting that Harry's wife needs new PR? Well, it's none other than Howard Stern. In an article called about on a place called The Things, which is part of MSN.com, states, Howard Stern thinks Harry's wife is in desperate need of a new PR team following her deal or no deal scandal. The article by Dylan Parker tells us as follows. Howard Stern hasn't spent a great deal of time weighing in on the lives of the royal family. It's just not something the radio legend and best-selling author is all that interested in. Although he has publicly compared Prince Harry to Donald Trump following the Queen's funeral. The self-proclaimed king of all media has also slammed Harry's wife following her comments about her experience on Deal or No Deal. While Howard, like usual, wasn't shy about divulging his true feelings, he ultimately suggested Harry's wife was in desperate need of a new public relations team. Here's why. To understand why Howard Stern said what he said about Harry's wife, one must first understand why there's a controversy surrounding her comments. Prior to marrying into the British royal family, as well as becoming an actor, Harry's wife earned money as a briefcase girl on NBC's Deal or No Deal, hosted by Howie Mandel. Between 2006 and 2007, the soon-to-be Duchess of Essex, no, Sussex, so no points for you, Dylan Parker, getting the county wrong, was featured on 34 episodes of the show, alongside numerous other beautiful women. Their responsibilities were limited, <laughs> as they mostly just opened suitcases whenever called upon by Howie and the contestants. Well, that is the role of a briefcase girl. Uh, during an episode of her archetypes pod crap, Harry's wife addressed her time on the show, claiming she felt objectified and like a bimbo. The comments landed her in hot water with everyone from Whoopi Goldberg to Ben Shapiro and, yes, Howard Stern. There was a very cookie-cutter idea of precisely what we should look like. It was solely about beauty and not necessarily about brains. Where, actually, I say to you, Harry's wife, you don't have much in the way of brains, and as for your beauty, it's largely manufactured, so you should thank your own personal God, whatever that is, that there was actually a place for you on the programme. We then get told about the different stations again, and she said that it made her feel objectified and not smart, and she didn't like it. And then, of course, it mentions about the other briefcase girls telling her that she's talking a crock of bollocks. On October 24th, 2022, Howard Stern addressed the Harry's Wife Deal or No Deal scandal on his Sirius XM radio show. During a discussion with longtime host Robin Quivers, Howard claimed that Harry's wife's attempts to be relatable have been continuously failing. Harry's wife is so misguided. She needs a PR person so badly. The point is, Howard that you might be right about that, but she's not going to listen. Why? She's a mid-range narcissist who thinks she knows it all. But even somebody who's got vast experience in the field of PR, knows all the tricks, knows the contacts, knows the things you should say and should do and not say and not do, it will fall on deaf ears. In the same way that whichever poor unfortunate has been hired as a stylist for Harry's wife 
always has their suggestions rejected whenever they say, I don't think going as a member of the Muppet Show to church is going to go down particularly well, or appearing as a piece of fruit that's gone beyond its expiration date. Mm, I don't think that's really a good idea. Uh, and also, your fake tan is showing when you're wearing that dress. They are ignored because Harry's wife always knows best. She knows everything there is to know about Fashon. She's a political titan. She, of course, could be CEO of any company that she chose. After all, she successfully ran a lifestyle blog called The Stig. I beg your pardon, The Tig. And therefore, whilst it might seem from the outside that a PR person or a new PR get-up would be appropriate, she's simply not going to listen, which is going to be all the more amusing for everybody else because she'll continue to create gaff after gaff after gaff as a consequence of her own inability to see how her behaviour impacts. And even when it's pointed out to her, as has been mentioned in Parts Passim in 103.24 Backlash, I've No Regrets, that, look, what you've done has created an almighty fuckfest for you. She simply shrugs and goes, what are they getting their panties in a bunch about? So what? One of my commenters, who cares, on that precise video, pointed out quite accurately that she was reminded of the instance where I did a video about an Instagrammer who had basically behaved in a reprehensible way with regard to her husband. And when she faced backlash in the comments, was basically saying, what's up with you lot? Why are you getting your panties in a bunch about all of this? Calm the fuck down. Harry's wife is similar to that. What she does is creates the almighty backlash, and then when it's pointed out to her, you've created a huge backlash, you did it, you caused it, her narcissist immediately plane shifts and goes, nothing to see here, there isn't a problem. They're getting themselves bent out of shape over nothing. And that's the problem, that no matter how many times a PR person may well point out to her, look, what you're doing isn't reading well, the optics are shit, basically, the internet dislikes you. So you'll say, well, they will do. They focus on the trivial. Uh, no, they're focusing on what you put in front of them. No, 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 it's their problem, not mine. And they're racist, and they're haters, and they're misogynists. It's a completely thankless task for a PR agency. In the early days, there was something to work with. She'd married a prince. Although there were many of us that had seen through the behaviours, there were still a lot of people that were giving her the benefit of the doubt that thought, well, give her a chance, let's see what she can do, let her stand on her own two feet. Maybe she will grow into this role away from the royal family. We've seen that she hasn't. Why? Two things. One, she has to leverage off her connection to the royal family despite saying that she doesn't want anything to do with them because that's the only reason that she's relevant. Two, she hasn't got anything else to fall back on. She has no other talents. And therefore, everybody is able to see her and realise that she isn't that effective. And those sharks out there, of which there are many, will look at her and think, I could put up with her if she was bringing value in some way. If lots of people really liked her, even though I think she's ridiculous, that's fine because they'll buy my products because of her, and I'll make more money. So even though I find her somebody I can't tolerate, I'll sign up and pay her a fee because she brings in the mouth breathers. Cool by me, they're buying my product. But she can't even command that any longer, because more and more people have seen through her. And therefore, what has she got to bring to the gig? Furthermore, anybody with an iota of sense looks and thinks, uh -uh, damaged goods, toxic, will be problematic. Look what I mentioned about the fact that she was NFI'd by Michelle Obama's little club. The tide has turned for Harry's wife. The fact is, more and more people see her for what she is. Those that are in a position to sponsor, endorse, etc., the big hitters, they don't want anything to do with her any longer. The A-listers, they recognised and smelt, no, 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 something's off about this one, don't want to be associated with her, grasping, not one of us. She's neither royalty because she's distanced herself from that, though keeps trying to cling on. She's not a tech titan. She's not a CEO. She's not an author. She's not a dancer. She's not a singer. She can't... The fashion line she wouldn't be able to create. Who would want to buy it? Why on earth would you want to look like Fridge by Valentino? Why would you want a poo emoji hat? Her fashion is ridiculous. Her currency in stock is plummeting. More and more people see that. 
and thus it becomes a harder and harder task for whoever is tasked to trying to turn that around. The simple answer is they're not going to be able to do so. So notwithstanding what Howard Stern has to say about her needing new PR, it is not going to help because she will not listen and she's pushed it too far already. You see, wiser narcissists would operate behind the scenes and so their unsavory behaviours don't get seen on a global platform. With her, she tried to play the game and wasn't up to it so that when it, her narcissism couldn't cope with the situation... She was exposed again and again, and in the most global of manners. Queen's funeral, shushing of the colour, service of booing, over and over again. The engagement interview, it was there for the world to see. Mr Stern continues, Stupidly, she gave up being a princess, and she walked away from the royal family. And she thought this was going to be fucking great, and it's just miserable. People hate her for it. She's not coming off well. Howard said of Harry's wife attempt to show her true personality on her Spotify podcast. She's got the same problem that I've got. I've got a big dark hole in me that says, please love me. Howard went on to claim that the difference between him and the Duchess of Sussex is that he has a brain in his head. Harry's wife doesn't know what the fuck to do, Howard added before criticising how scripted her podcraps appears to be. She's so actressy, the slow talking. Howard then turned to Harry's wife's comments about deal or no deal. Who the fuck is forcing her to go to an audition? Like my wife who model said, nobody forces you to go to an audition. She goes, any girl would love that job because you stand there and you get paid. And imagine being good looking enough to be paid to stand there, Howard said. Similar to what both Whoopi Goldberg and Ben Shapiro said about Deal or No Deal, Howard stated that the conceit of the show, as well as the Suitcase Girls, was obvious from the start. It was never supposed to be a show that challenged anyone intellectually. Not the viewers and certainly not the Briefcase Girls. Did they tell her what the job was? Robin Quivers laughed. Was it a surprise? I guess they tricked her, Howard responded. This is insulting to someone like Vanna White, Howard said of the hostess of Wheel of Fortune. She's listening to this podcast going, geez, what am I, a prisoner of war here at Wheel of Fortune? Robin then added that Harry's wife's trauma is something she wished she experienced in her life. Anyone who knows anything about Robin Quivers knows that she had to deal with some truly horrible things at the hands of her father. Evidently, Whoopi Goldberg gave it to Harry's wife pretty good on the view, Howard added, and rightly so. Stop it. This wasn't like somebody forced you into a demeaning situation. So another individual demonstrates how they see through the behaviours and criticise what she came out with in respect of, of course, the deal or no deal debacle. And this generates further threats to control for Harry's wife, and also, I've explained to you how the suggestion of PR isn't going to help her. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.